Then I went again. Well, he said the you know, spiritual direction. Yeah, precious somehow. I'm important in the world. I have a family. Everyone else was a star. Yitzhak Herzog is a member of the Knesset and serves as leader of the opposition. His father, Chaim Herzog, served as the sixth president of Israel. When my late father, Chaim Herzog, was appointed ambassador to the United Nations, that was in 1975, we went to one of the Simcha stories, I think it was uh, 1976 or 77. My father became world-renowned for his uh, defending Zionism uh, in the famous uh, UN debate on Zionism is racism, at the end of which my father tore the resolution to pieces and said, of course, it's an infamous resolution. For us, the Jewish people, this is no more than a piece of paper and we shall treat it as such. Thank you, Mr. President. We became very famous and uh, we went to the Rebbe for Simchas Torah. With us was Tzvir Afiach, who was the uh, counselor at the embassy. I think was Yossi Chechanover as well, a group of uh, leading Israeli diplomats. We, went, we came to 770. Uh, it was awesome because uh, it was crowded and packed. Uh, in, in the huge long table sat in the center uh, the Rebbe. Now the Rebbe knew my grandfather, knew Rav Herzog extremely well and corresponded with him in the past. In the, I, I vividly recall, I was 15 or 16, I vividly recall the Rebbe's speech. He spoke uh, at length, of course, on Amos Oilem, on the, on the nations, on their hatred to Israel and the Jews, and what we need to do and how to maneuver. He greeted us, spoke at, uh, at length with my father, who has met him before in previous visits to New York. They had meetings as well, both as the son of the chief rabbi, as a general in the army, as a very famous person, as the son of Rabbanit Rebetzin Herzog, who had connections to Chabad as well for many, many years. My father's conversation with the Rebbe in that Simcha story ran, uh, was, was not a short conversation and had to do with geopolitics and international relations, uh, the automatic bloc in the United Nations against Israel. And of course, to fight terror and the quest on Jerusalem and Hebron and issues of this nature. Uh, the Rebbe told my father to go to the UN and uh, declare that Ma'at uh, of course, belongs to the Levim, and uh, if they offer to return it, uh, we need to add interest on interest on interest. But it was kind of a nice uh, explanation of how things are and how things should be handled. And then they gave us uh, the Hakafot. In the Hakafot, everybody was running for uh, the big Torahs. I was the youngest in the first Hakafa with the ambassador, my father, and all the big delegates. So the Shamas gave me the Rebbe's uh, Sefer Torah, the small one, the white little Sefer Torah which I uh, was extremely excited to carry. And uh, we did that kofana. Of all the people in the crowd, I was kissed mostly by everybody. Me and my Torah, as you can imagine. And it was a very impressive, uh, a very impressive event. Uh, really something that stays with you for life. My father was extremely happy that I came with him. It was a unique experience. And especially it was very, very, very um, important for him that uh, I receive a blessing from the Rebbe. Very important for him. And my father was not a man who showed a lot of emotions. And for him to receive a blessing for me, his son, who bears his father's name by the Rebbe, was very, very important. And he told him, this is Yitzhak Isaac. 